Hi, it's Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. I came home from work tonight. We had a great class tonight. And my wife had these baskets out. She was doing a craft with them, and it's awesome. And I was just inspired by the work involved, you know, thinking about my trips to Navajo country and to Africa, watching the people there weave. And there's no way I could do this. You know, I took basket, I have basket weaving merit badge, and my baskets never ever looked anything like this. It's, um, it's amazing. So I wanted to make a picture. I was really enthralled with the patterns and the colors in this basket, with the round, with the shapes, the wheel on the back. I was putting the other baskets in the image, and I thought, I want to shoot this with a wide angle lens. So I'm using the 24 to 70 lens on the Nikon Z7, the Z7 II. I want to focus close, so I put a, one of the ProMaster very small extension tubes. It's about eight millimeter extension tube. And I'm going to get close with the wide angle lens to accentuate the roundness on this basket. And I'm going to have the other baskets around as background. Because remember when you shoot with a wide angle lens, you take in a broad scene, a broad view. That's why for most of the pictures in the Be Creative series, I've used the 70 to 200. Because we're constricted space here in ho the house. And I don't want you to see in the picture the rest of the, the living room. I don't want it to look like it's shot in the living room. So we're going to do something different. We're going to do the wide angle lens. And I've got two of the Lytra torches. One is my main light here to light the top of the basket. It's from the side, so I really accentuate the roundness. The second light here is a backlight. So it's going to come through this basket. Now I can't get the basket to stand up on its own, so I'm going to have to hold it when I photograph. But it's going to come up like this. So the light's coming through it. You see that? It's going to make an interesting background behind it. It's just going to be a hint there, just a little bit of it in the picture. But you know what? When you're doing a picture like this, everything counts. So you really have to work hard to do it. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to pull the... Hold on, I'm going to get the microphone entangled here. I pull the camera in place so you can see it. I'm going to position. I'm going to point, turn my back to you. I'm sorry about that. I, forgive me. I'm going to make sure that it's in focus right here on the foreground. I'm gonna bring the camera up a little closer. Right about there. Adjust the tripod. Now I'm aperture priority F8 ISO 400, giving me about a 20th of a second exposure. I kinda like the exposure here, I'm gonna shoot this one. But you can see a little bit of highlight here in the background coming from that light. So that's why I'm going to turn this basket up, take that highlight away, and see how that basket leaves that nice texture in the background there. So when you're photographing, now as you can see, I've got a little bit of shadow here in the foreground. I think that's okay, but I'm also good. I'm going to move this one back a little bit, see what that does to the image, rounds that out a little bit. When you're photographing like this, you have to think about everything. And I know a lot of people say, well, Mark, how do you know all this? It comes from experience. It comes from having a mentor. It comes to, from working with somebody. And <clears throat> you know, My dad helped me a lot. My instructors at El Camino, John Salengo. And I've been always learning from other photographers. And one of the great things we do at Creative Photo Academy is we share. We share information like this. We share our techniques so we can help each other get better. Because I like to get better. I like to make better pictures. And to me, this is powerful fun. And it's just another day of be creative, you know, and how much better can it get? Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo, and the Creative Photo Academy, wishing you great fun with baskets. And I can't wait to see what you do and how you're creative on your day of photography.